So the tzitzis have 32 strands. The 32 strands represent the 32 pathways of wisdom through which God created the world and through which God illuminates the world and gives the world its blessings in abundance and also its spiritual, its holy blessings. And the strands of the tzitzis represent the revelation of godliness, of the wisdom of God that will illuminate the world when Mashiach comes for 50,000 jubilee years. That's either 2.5 million years, or as some others say, 2.5 billion years of continuous revelation are represented by those 32 pathways of the tzitzis. So the tzitzis are the channels for life and for godliness and for godly wisdom. And it is through the tzitzis that our lives and our wisdom will be illuminated. So the tzitzis represents two facets of godliness. A, the makif or the transcendent, the talis represent that which wraps us completely envelops us, that represents a light that's totally enveloping, and the strands of the tzitzis represent the revelation of God's wisdom. And these, in turn, correspond to Torah and mitzvahs. The strands represent the revelation of Torah, and the talis represents the revelation of the mitzvahs. So why do you need to have a talis for if you have Torah? And the answer is in order to bring godliness into the realm of the physical, you must have physical mitzvahs. It's not enough that a person study God's wisdom, but God's wisdom must actually apply and reveal itself within the physical. There must be a physical representation and manifestation of godliness in order to bring the revelation of Torah into actuality. That's number one. And then there's a second step. The second step is that the tzitzit is called hakonov, psil techelis hakonov, min hakonov. That the strands of the tzitzit ideally should be the same material as the talus itself, which in Kabbalistic terms means that the light of God that is called the Or Ein Sof, the infinity of God, the tzitzis should be of the same stuff as the infinite light. Now how is it possible for a finite strand to express infinity it is mathematically impossible. But since the strands of the tzitzis represent the 32 pathways of Chachma, of wisdom, and wisdom, besides being illuminative and revealing of intellect, wisdom has the capacity to be sensitive to and absorbed within and one with the infinity of God. That's the level of chokhmah, of wisdom. And the tzitzis represents the blending of the intellect with the awareness of the infinity of God. That chokhmah, which is sensitive and aware of the infinity of God, should be able to manifest and reveal God's infinity into the world of people with finite intellects, with limited capabilities. In other words, tzitzis represents the whole gamut of God's revelation to us, both the intellectual revelation, which will take place after the Messiah comes for 50,000 jubilees, and then the tzitzis also represent the revelation of the Ein Sof, the transcendent, within the intellect, 
through the fact that the tzitzis represent the essence of chokhmah, which is sensitive to the presence of the Ein Sof. And so, where your tal is cotton and your tal is godl, they represent the fusion of Torah and mitzvahs. If a person says he only has Torah, he doesn't even have Torah, because Torah, without mitzvahs, is just like tzitzis without a garment. It doesn't have any base. The whole purpose of the wisdom of the Torah is to reveal God's presence on earth, God as God is, not as we would like to have God, not just as a great lawgiver, but in the total package of godliness as the essence of all life. And that is why tzitzis are one of the mitzvahs that when you wear them and you're careful with them, you live a long life.